Yo, I'm on the forward facing camera. I'm doing a Gerard, hang on. No, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> Hello. I'm doing this for Dave Shotton. I want to hold it there and I can't because my big fingers are going to get in the way. They're not big, they're tiny, tiny. This is the inside of my van, it's a mess. Look. It's full of crap. Dinobots. I want to talk about Dinobots for a moment because uh, Bad Boy Shot Shot, the beard himself, was a smidgen confused. And it is a very, very confusing subject. And one that was handled, for want of a better word, poorly. Forgive me, I'm looking at me on here. If my eyes go in this direction, then I'm not looking over there because you're there, but I'm there. Sorry. Uh... At the beginning of the film, uh, the people who are the original lockdowns in all the lockdown spaceships, when all the lockdown spaceships arrive to Earth, drop loads of bombs on the planet. And the reason they drop loads of bombs on the planet is they are seeds. And the seeds transform earthly material into transformanium. Let's just think about that for a moment. Cost... Two hundred and thirty million pounds to make this film, and the best name that they could come up with was Transformanium. Uh, and you make Transformers out of Transformanium, which is why they were bombing the planet. Because back in the day, they were just turning, literally turning the ground into metal, and then using that metal to make the robots. Hence the phrase that comes along later on. Uh, you weren't born, you were built. Quintessons? Uh, <laughs> I should have said a spoiler thing at the beginning of this. It's spoiler-tastic. Um, and that is why, later on, they start melting down all the dead Transformers and killing dead Transformers. Not because they specifically want the Transformers dead, but they do want their metal carcasses so they can turn them into their army of 50 stingers that they had and so on and so forth. The Dinobots, when Optimus Prime gets held on lockdown ship with all his trophies and prisoners, the Dinobots are prisoners of lockdown, which is why he goes back into the stolen arm of the uh, night ship that's the Harbinger that belongs to lockdown. And that's why he sets free with his magical sword in that big locky key thing, because he's a Prime, to let all the Primes loose. It makes sense. This is the best I can do. Dad's going to interrupt me now because I'm making a video. Look. There he is. What's up? Hey. Hi. What's up? No, I've just turned up. I've been in a sec. It's Dad. I'm on lunch. Um, that's a very quick explanation as to why. <laughs> the Dinobots were shite. They're very clever. They look nice. They look spectacular. To say they look nice is underdoing it. They look absolutely fantastical. But they were another convenient plot development to just win a war as opposed to building them as part of the movie. I'm very disappointed. It makes me not really want the toys quite so much, which is, for me, tragic. Looking at myself again. Shout to Dave Shotton. Shout out to everybody. I keep living in a world where I keep agreeing with Sammy Sadek on things at the moment. I'm fairly sure that if we do that too often, it's going to be like crossing the screams in Ghost Screams. Yes, cross the screams. Ah! Crossing the streams in Ghostbusters. And if we all know what happens when you cross the streams in Ghostbusters. See ya. <laughs>